Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Hamill Outdoors. This episode, we're doing something a little bit different. We're fishing on the big pond, aka Mille Lacs. This morning, I am was out fishing. Well, this is I haven't got a line wet yet, but I'll get into that in a little while. Plan is for this episode, they're having the perch party. This year is the first year Nitty's Hunters Point is putting on the perch party. It was, um, previous years it was known as the Perch Extravaganza put on by Johnson Sports Side, but this year it is called the Perch Party. There's going to be thousands of people out, they're going to raffle off. I think there's a fish house, an ice castle, um, some fishing equipment, vexlars, rods, tackle, fish houses, stuff like that. I think they're even raffling off a four-wheeler, so that'll be really fun. Um, I'm going to fish here for... Gosh, I don't know, probably four or five hours and then head over there this afternoon. Probably hang out, talk to some people. I don't know, just hang out with everybody, hang out with the fishing community. I really enjoy doing that. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. This video, we're going to be doing some fishing, going to be hanging out with some uh, fellow ice anglers, maybe maybe talk to a couple, couple of them, see what they've been catching, see how their ice season's been going, and uh, tag along. It should be a heck of a fun day and a uh, heck of a fun weekend. I'm going to be fishing here today, like I had uh, mentioned this morning, and then I'm going to be fishing after the uh, the event this evening, and then I'm going to go out again tomorrow morning. So fingers crossed we can get a get a Malax walleye. The bite's been uh, pretty not very good, so I'm hoping I can uh, can capitalize on the opportunity if it's given to me. Okay, so I left the skid house right around six o'clock this morning. Was going out to one of the spots I had previously fished last year to see if it was still producing. But unfortunately, as many of you know, there is about four and a half feet of snow on Mille Lacs with the drifts and all that. So I got my foiler stuck right around 10 to 15 times within half an hour. So I turned around, I was the heck with it, and uh, turned around went back on the road and found this little, I'm sitting on a 30, 30 foot rock pile, I'm sitting on the very peak of it, and uh, some walleyes like to come up to the top of it and feed throughout the day, and uh, basically we're just going to hang out here for a little bit if I don't catch anything or uh, or no action or nothing, I'm going to move probably, but it makes it makes it a little bit more tricky than what I'm used to this year than it versus last year. I would be out in the mud, but the road Hunter's Point has closed the road for the season with the snow drifts and uh, everybody's safety stuff like that. Unfortunately, this late season, walleye fishing on here on the big pond, it can do that. So we're just going to make the best of it. Hopefully we can catch some walleyes, but uh, we're going to have a heck of a lot of fun there at the event. It's actually a perch tournament, but I'm not really participating in it. Um, I'm just kind of doing my own thing, but uh, it's always fun just to see um, the fishing community and how everybody interacts and, you know, It'll definitely be fun, and I'm um, I'm hoping you guys will take along for that. It's uh, th this is my first experience with it. My uh, good buddy Mason has told me for years how great the uh, the extravaganza was, and I hope this perch party is uh, is no different. When I drove by this morning, it looks like they're going to have a live band, and it'll be uh, it should be fun. Forgot to mention with the uh, the area I have with me in the shack, I decided to move my dead stick outside. I have it on my iFish Pro tip up. If you guys don't know what they are, they're basically a little mechanism puts over your ISO, you put a little clip on your line, put it on the flag. It's just like a traditional tip up, but instead you get to fight the fish with a rod. They're a great product. Once again, I'm not sponsored, not endorsed, nothing like I just think iFish Pro makes an awesome, uh, awesome product. And if you guys are in the market for a new tip up, go check them out. They're absolutely awesome. I've been enjoying them the past couple years with uh, my experiences with them. And I don't know what I have here. Oh, wow. That's a pretty big walleye there. <laughs> Look at the little guy. Hopefully they get bigger, but uh, it's better than nothing. But look at that. look at this little guy. Healthy fish though. But yeah, we're gonna get him back and uh, hopefully they get a little bit bigger. See you later, dude. Hey guys, we got a pretty decent fish. Looking at it here. No, he went away. Come on, guy. That was a nice fish! 
Yo! I swear, if I reel this up and my minnow's gone, we're gonna have some issues. Nope, we're good. This is what I'm running, RBM uh, Valent, Valentine Hyper Glow with just a jig and a full minnow. Pairing it up with my Della Bay Eyedropper Dial Reel. Um, I believe this is six pound suffix ice braid to a little barrel swivel and then to about a 15 inch fluorocarbon. I think it's a it's a six pound liter, eight pound mainline. That's what it is. Excuse me. Sorry guys, I forgot, but. I kinda hope he hits my dead stick, but. I popped my minnow, my minnow pail open today and uh, all my rainbows were dead. So, but. That's okay though. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I'm gonna keep drinking and uh, See what happens. Hopefully I can catch a little bit bigger one than that little guy. Another one coming up to it. And he gone. Come on, bud. I promise. <laughs> just spot my minnow and I'll let you go. I promise you that. Alright, we're just gonna... That fish is still around the shack here. So we're just gonna leave him be for a little bit. And uh, if something different happens, I'll turn on my camera. What's that wrong? But, oh, 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 oh. Come on, pal. I'm starting to think this is a tulip bee. He has uh, been kind of circling. It seems there is a bunch of them out here, and they when they come up to your bait, they kind of go in a figure eight pattern. And it seems like walleyes will just go and they'll and they'll whack it. But uh, I'm not really. I'm starting to think that minnow on that uh, on that tip up is dead because I figured the report was that they were hitting dead sticks, but. I suppose the jig with a minnow could be considered a dead stick as well. You, obviously, you can jig it, but um, maybe that's what we should try. Uh, I'm just going to leave my rod sit for a little bit. That fish is still around, and uh, see what happens here. Oh, got dark there. Hello. Hey, uh, probably about 45 minutes to an hour since I last talked to you guys. Not much action. Been pretty slow. I haven't even marked a fish. I'm just going to wait it out here. Um, I believe the party perch party starts at what was it three o'clock so i'm probably gonna pack up around two it's currently 11 so we're just gonna wait it out there's uh i'm confident in this in this area and uh obviously midday isn't the best time to catch walleyes so if uh if something does pick up i might come back out here this evening i'm definitely gonna be fishing i just don't know where yet it's a little bit before two o'clock right around 150 pack up the shack head on out it's uh pretty windy out so i don't think i'm gonna take out my big camera i was gonna do a little time lapse for you guys tracking down but uh it is what it is i'll talk to you guys when we get to uh the shore this is absolutely nuts look at all these people there's cars everywhere i'm gonna get the drone up here look at this all right, I'm gonna go find uh, my people. They're starting to raffle off all the Strike Master Lithium Augers. That's they have at least 15 grand in Augers. It's nuts. This is wild. The winning perch was 1.3 pounds. That's a bass. Yeah, you. I forgot to mention they got all these prizes. Everybody's cool. You can go up there. Right. There's like five Garmin live scopes right there. There's like ten augers. This is nuts. So how it works is you get one of these buttons. Yeah. And then they uh, they call your number off. So should be fun. I was here for five minutes and I got a towel and Jared got a shirt. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, it's that peanut butter whiskey. We're starting to give away stuff. All these little kids are getting Alright, now we're going to give away the prizes for the fishing contest. I haven't won anything yet. Hopefully I win something. That'd be kind of sweet.
They're giving away two freaking four wheelers. What just happened? Holy shit! What happened? I don't know. Something happened. Everybody went wild. But yeah, they're giving away two four wheelers. I don't know if you can see it. This is nuts. And if I win one of these, I don't even know what I would do. It's in the 3000s. Shoot. Three thousand seven hundred and who, who's still in it with the three thousand and three and the seven? Seventy-five. Three thousand seven hundred and four. Okay, I'm gonna start walking back and uh, I'm gonna get my drone in there just to show you how many people are actually here. This is nuts. Yeah. Okay guys, this is what we're dealing with currently. We spent the past half an hour trying to get out. I don't know if I'm gonna be fishing or night. This is pretty ridiculous. Um, hopefully I can get out before dark. Got her out, I was buried way back there. I'm hungry, I'm tired, I feel defeated. So I think I'm gonna go back to the bar and eat some food. And then, yeah, a very, eventful weekend so far i'm gonna get up early again tomorrow morning and uh gonna get after it before heading home thank you guys for watching um, sorry it hasn't been jam-packed trying to create the best possible video i can but walleyes aren't complying it's like four feet of snow just look at this Buried up in snow. Shacks covered in snow. Last morning here to uh, make something happen for the year on the walleyes. We only have about two, three hours before we have to head home, unfortunately. But uh, with the things that happened last night with getting stuck and all that, it just wasn't uh, just wasn't a whole lot of fun. And I'm hoping this morning I can uh, can make something happen. I got about, like I said, I got about two and a half hours to uh, hopefully set something up. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna go out and go a little bit shallower. I don't think I'm gonna go 19 or 20 feet and, and uh, see what shakes out. Like I had mentioned earlier this morning, we only have about two hours, well, not since I, about two hours even right now before we have to pack things up and, and head back home. So we're not really sitting on uh, where I would like to be. We're kind of around people, and if you guys know me and how I like to fish, there's people around me, as you can see. Um, it is what it is. I did not want to venture off like I usually do with my uh, four-wheeler and bury myself like I did yesterday. That was a, not a lot of fun whatsoever. So we're sitting about 25 feet, a little bit shallower than what we were fishing yesterday. And I'm hoping with a little luck we can come across uh, a dirty 30 or just something, uh, something a lot better than yesterday. Man, it's been crazy, crazy slow out here. I haven't marked a fish. I just was talking to some locals. 
that were fishing out here almost every week and a guy who lived up in the Mille Lacs area had said that he's caught 20 fish all year and he's been out here since they were letting wheelhouse out and uh it's it's kind of been a slow winter all around i'm uh i'm very ready to get in the skeeter and do some uh do some flipping and uh get on some big old billy bass but uh appreciate you guys for watching as I was editing this video that you guys are watching currently, I realized I had forgot to make an outro. So, I know, yeah, rookie. So, if you're new around here, please subscribe. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Drop a comment uh, what your favorite catch was this winter. I would like to uh, hear it, and I'll apply to everybody that comments. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And as freaking always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.